Did you know that a 2% drop in hydration can lead to significant drops in performance? I'm talking loss in strength, loss in endurance, altered central nervous system function, and of course, cramping. And that's why we're talking about primeval electrolyte packets today. I've been using these in my bottle, my you know daily drinking bottle for about a month now. I've been loving the flavor of these. Uh, the smash berry is kind of my favorite right now, but this is also a strawberry banana. But really, we actually get to talk about the electrolytes themselves. Now, I've used Primeval's Intracell. You know, there's a lot of electrolytes in there. There's a lot of other stuff in there for osmolytic activity as well. But the things that I like about electrolyte from Primeval is that it's simply just electrolytes. We're talking about calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium. It's the whole panel. Simple, easy. You don't have to worry about conflicting different ingredients and stuff. I throw this in a bottle and I don't worry about it. I enjoy the flavor. I enjoy the electrolytes. And when it comes to athletes, you kind of want to keep drinking water, but at some points, if you just keep drinking water without enough electrolytes, that can actually be detrimental to you. So today I'm actually going to talk about key electrolytes, what you're going to need from them, why you should use them. And I mean, it's all going to play into why electrolyte works, right? Now they deliver these electrolytes mostly through calcium K in this product. There is also some pink Himalayan salt. There's some dimagnesium malate, dicalcium phosphate, potassium citrate to deliver these last little bits, you know, to get these final dosages fully well-rounded. But for the most part, we're really talking about calcium K here, delivering a lot of these ingredients in here. Calcium K is actually developed by Albion on Human Nutrition. Albion is a brand that we trust for a lot of different ingredients in this industry. Now, calcium K actually delivers the calcium and potassium in this, the magnesium chloride and sodium are delivered from magne dimagnesium malate and pink Himalayan salt, but more on that later. First off, calcium. We listed first in these kinds of panels in the uh, daily value sections. So we're gonna talk about it first here. Calcium itself is actually used obviously to maintain strong bones. We've known about that for a long time, but ensures muscles fire properly and kind of works in tandem with potassium because potassium is also gonna be an essential electrolyte that is involved in the function of muscles, specifically heart and nerves. That's really important here. Now, potassium low levels of this are actually gonna to lead to muscle cramps, something that most of us are aware of. Fatigue, slower reflexes, and as an athlete, that's not something that most people are going to want, if not any, right? Now, phosphorus is the second ingredient here. This is going to be the second most abundant mineral in the entire body, working with B vitamins to help uh, support kidney function. And like the first couple ingredients that we talked about, muscle contractions too. Muscle contractions with electrolytes are going to be a very, very big theme. Additionally, phosphorus actually helps maintain a steady heartbeat and supports ATP production. Both are really important for being alive at all if not playing sports or being an athlete, right? Now from there, we look at magnesium. This is gonna be coming solely from dimagnesium malate. Magnesium is a very underrated electrolyte in my opinion. A lot of people look at sodium as an electrolyte specifically, but magnesium is very important for athletes. You should be using this around the day, getting it from your diet, using it pre-sleep. This is not the only time you should be getting magnesium and you should absolutely be getting it from whole foods as well. This is not a massive dosage here, but it also can be a bit of a laxative if you do use too much of it at a time. And it's also very calming, which I don't really want too much around my workout so i understand why they didn't go high dosed here it regulates nerve and muscle function and it promotes stable blood sugar actually as well which is going to be important as an athlete if you're taking in a lot of carbs now from there we talk about sodium sodium here comes from pink himalayan salt this is going to help maintain fluid balance it also regulates blood pressure and blood volume if you ever gotten blood work and you weren't hydrated some things may have looked odd on there and it could have to do with low sodium or low hydration. In athletes, high sweat rates is going to deplete this, and that's why you need to be re-establishing this within your body if you're sweating and training often. Now, each one of these ingredients is gonna be important for reaching your goals as an athlete. This is the kind of thing that I use as a daily thing. Is it a super high dose product? Is it going to taste like electrolytes? No, this is more of a lifestyle thing I'm using every day. If, if I'm going for a run in 100 degree weather, honestly, I'm gonna use a couple packets of these before I go, or I'm gonna honestly just throw a whole bunch of salt tabs in before because it's a bit of an extenuating circumstance. This is for normal athletes that need to be replenishing electrolytes. This is not for ultra marathons. This is not for 100 mile marathons. This is not for Iron Man. With all that said, it's really convenient. It's really easy to throw it in a bottle and drink it. I do have to say, we, we've been working with Primeval for a while now. I got this bag for free. It doesn't change my opinion on it at all. I've been loving this flavor, loving the product. It helps me stay full, stay really hydrated, honestly. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I'd love to talk to you about the product. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.